I've been having a lot of fun exploring all the different tools in Sketchable app. And today is another fun one, the user grid tool. Let's check it out. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM, that's me. And today I'm gonna to walk you through the user grid tool in Sketchable app. Let's go ahead and jump on into Sketchable app. Get your copy from the Microsoft Store available on all Windows 10 devices. I'm gonna go ahead and start up a new layer. Turn off my Batman, go ahead Batman, go and relax for a bit. Now let's reach over to the left hand side, find our tools, there's the grid icon, go ahead and click on it. And we can see our squares, that's our grid, this is cool, I like this. Now, we have some options that we can play with here, including how uh, far apart each grid line is, plus how are they separated, is it pixels or millimeters? And uh, I like that because now I can kind of see the uh, measurement that I can work with. But let's see, this was pixels. It was 2048 by 2048. This is the size of this paper. But uh, let's go with millimeters. I guess this is in inches. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So let's say, um, come on, there it is. So let's go with two. Boom. Two. See how it just changed? Right. And so then the color is going to be red. That's the big red color. And it's going to subdivide every... Uh, let's go 10. No. There it is. Uh, 10. Let's see. Does that work? Is that a number? That's not a number. There it is, that's a number. Boom, there it is, oh, look at that. Yes, this is what I'm used to, but that's a lot of little squares. And then, of course, the color of each square so right now, of the lines, uh, of the grid lines, it can be blue or any color you want. So let me turn it down some. There we go, oh yeah, and the red. Let me make it a little darker, oh yes. And instead of 10, we're gonna make it five. There it is. Boom. And there it is. That's it. So now I hit OK. And I, as I draw and create, I can uh, have my grid. So what I'm finding out is it's too dark. So let's go here. Color. There it is. And uh, let's go like right there. See how it turns down the color. Let's go with this one and turn it down some more. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay, cool. I like it. And so now it doesn't, uh, it's not so bright that uh, interferes with my artwork. When I, I need a grid like this sometimes when I'm working on storyboards and, lay, and layouts for websites and uh, mobile devices. So I can go ahead and, uh, you know, start doing all this. I mean, it really, because we know all our other tools. How about we go like this? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Let's see? Uh, let's go there, there. And I actually want it a little longer. So there it is. Um, let's see if I can go here. Nice. It's not perfect because I just want nice it's not perfect because I just want to you know play around with this so let's go ahead and get my stroke boom bam there it is got it boom so now I have a layer with my storyboard rectangle I can size this down as a matter of fact, unlock that so that I can size it to where I want it. Want it right there. Boom, done. There it is. And now I can continue using my layers. Duplicate a layer. Boom, there it goes. Nice, there it is. And I can start thinking about my scenes, right? So, because you've seen me. Re do all these recordings and uh, sketchable 
tutorials and demos, let's use that as an example. When I'm starting to think about video and uh, what I'm going to record, I like to go ahead and figure out uh, my setup. So I know I need a close up. So let's write down close up and let's do it with the thinner line and a new layer. Yep, is this a different layer? Yes, it is. I, I forget things right away. Here we go. It's a close up shot. Right. This is going to be the wide shot. You see, there you go, little by little. I start drawing in my ideas, and next thing you know, I, uh, I uh, took advantage of the grid. So let's go ahead and make that smaller, see that? Boom, go ahead and click that there, and make it much smaller. Yeah, there we go, oh yeah. I can see how using the grid in Sketchable is a perfect way to take down notes keep track of your ideas, and even storyboards. You let me know how you're gonna use it. This is Digital Drawing and Sketchable with DTM, and I hope that today's insights are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Until next time. Let me finish this right here.